What's going on? It's Ben from Bunny Media. And today in this video, we're gonna walk through everything that you need to do to set up the perfect Instagram business account for your business. So we're gonna walk through every single step from creating the account as well as optimizing it for success because it's no longer as simple as just making an account and people follow you. There's a lot of things that you have to do to put yourself in the best position to be found and be successful on Instagram. And we're also gonna walk through why you want to be using a business or a creator account and the benefits that come along with it as well as how to actually turn your Instagram account into a business or a creator account because every single Instagram account you make starts off as a personal account until you do a few things. So we're gonna walk through everything that you need to know to get your Instagram account up and running, turn it into a business or a creator account, and then get it optimized for success so you can actually grow and benefit from using Instagram in 2022 and beyond. So let's get right into it. All right, so the first step in creating your account is actually downloading the Instagram app. So go to the app store, Download the app and then once you've done that, open it up and then click create new account. And then you're gonna have to sign up with a phone or an email. And once you provide that to Instagram, they're gonna then ask you to verify that just to make sure that it is in fact your phone or email and that you do actually wanna connect it to your account. So I'm gonna sign up with an email right here. T Tutorials. Then you have to confirm the email and then you have to add your name. So at this point, Instagram doesn't know whether you're a personal or a business page or whatever. So I do recommend when you put in your name here just to make it your business's name, but you can also change this later. So don't stress it too much. For this example, we're gonna do a bar. So we're gonna call it Benjo's Pub. Let's call it that. All right, and then you have to create a password. You can save it to your phone and you add your birthday. This isn't shown on your profile unless you let it be shown. So don't stress it too much. Then click next. And then here we're gonna have to actually pick a username. So since you can see right here, my exact name is available as my username. So Benjo's Pub is available and that's indicated by the little green check mark to the right of it. But if it was taken, there'd be a red X beside that, meaning you have to try something else. Because once you pick a username, once anyone picks a username, no one else can take that from them. So it basically becomes their digital property. So Benjo's Pub luckily is available. So we're gonna go with that exact username. If not, you may have to add some numbers or an underscore or some different variations. Don't stress it too much. Just try to get as close as possible to something that is easy to find and as close to your name as possible. But ideally, you have exact match, which Benjo's Pub does, so next. And then sign up as Benjo's Pub, sign up. And you can always change your username later as well. So then the next step is gonna ask you to do is try to find people for you to follow. So it wants to find your Facebook friends through connecting it to a Facebook profile. We're not gonna do that right now. And you can connect it to your phone contacts to also find other accounts that way. We're gonna skip that as well. And then it does want you to add a profile photo. For your business, I definitely recommend adding a profile photo because this is usually gonna be your first impression with people and they do find you across Instagram. So make it a good looking image, whether it be your branding, your logo, something very obvious as to what you are, especially if you do have branding available definitely use it. So I made a little logo for our fake pub here, right here, done. And then also share this to post. I don't wanna do that. You can do that if you'd like, but I'd rather just post regular content. So then we're gonna click next. And then here again, it's gonna ask us to connect to Facebook or connect to contacts, or I also look through suggestions, but we're just gonna click next right here and find people to follow, not now. You can do this later, but we're not gonna do that right now. The next step to set up this account is to actually go over to your account and look at it. So we now have an official account. You are now you now have an Instagram account, but now let's turn it into a business account because that's really why you're here. So to do this, it's very simple. Just click the top little bars in the top right here. Click those and then click settings and then scroll down to account, tap that, and then scroll down to switch to professional account. So here you click that and it's gonna open up a few different things. So you get free professional accounts. So doing this is completely free and it does have a ton of benefits like we mentioned earlier. So you can learn about your followers, reach more people and get new contact options, all things that you definitely wanna be taking advantage of if you are a business or even a creator. But we'll walk through the differences and the benefits as well in this video. So click continue. And the benefit of having a business account is you can actually have a direct explanation or tagline as to exactly what you are. So a descriptive phrase for your exact business. And Facebook and Instagram have evolved to the point where they have almost any kind of possible business you could think of. And by using this kind of account, you can attach it right to your name, which we'll show you. So since we are a bar, Right there, we have that. And you can display on your profile or not. I'm going to display it because I think it makes it look a lot more professional and then click done. And then you have the option to choose between a business or a creator account. So as you can see, the description explains what's better for what. They're very, very similar, but just I would go with their recommendation. So business is best for retailers, local businesses, brands, organizations, and service providers. So if you fall into any one of those mixes, definitely go with business. And then a creator is best for public figures, content producers, artists, and influencers. So more of like one man teams, whether it be a creator or a YouTuber, or whatever, something along those lines, like a blogger. But if you're a business, Definitely go with business, creator, go with that. They're very, very similar. There's a few different distinct differences, but we'll walk through that. So we're gonna go with business for this case. And here's 
another awesome feature. So you can actually add in your contact information and then also choose what's displayed on your profile versus what isn't. Since I signed up with an email, they have the email already, but I would definitely recommend adding in your business phone number if you do have a phone number that people can call you through. And then you can also make that a button on your profile if you choose. And then another awesome feature if you're a local business is the opportunity to add your business address right here, which can also be clickable when people do come to your profile. So definitely wanna have that if you are a local business so they can easily find you, come to you and buy from you. So take the time to add these things, especially if you do want them on your profile and if they help people become a customer. But for us, we're gonna go ahead, but definitely go ahead and do this for yourself. So click next. And then here, you wanna connect it to a Facebook again, but here it's connecting it to a Facebook business page. And I definitely recommend doing that. And we have future videos coming out walking you through how to create a Facebook business page, as well as how to connect it to your Instagram account. So subscribe so that you don't miss those tutorials coming very, very soon. But at this current point for this tutorial, we're gonna move ahead. But if you do have one, or even if you don't, definitely go ahead and create a Facebook business page and connect it to your Instagram account. It allows you to do a bunch of other things, especially when it comes to paid advertising. But for this, for this example, we're gonna click skip, but for you, again, go ahead and do it. And then here, we're gonna go through the steps of completing our profile. So if you go ahead and click this right here, because they do wanna get you set up and running, you click complete profile. And then here we have the main things that people see when they do come to our profile. So we have our name, which is Benjo's Pub, which you should make whatever name people would typically search for you as, have that so that's easily found. And then a good rule of thumb in addition to that is if you do ever wanna include a specific word that you think a lot of people would be looking for before they find you, perhaps it's if you're if you're a bar or say if you're a cleaner, you'd say your, your town name, cleaners, or whatever it may be, think about a search-friendly keyword that people will be typing in before they wanna find someone like you, because if you include it in your name, it increases the likelihood of them finding you. So not a huge, huge thing, but it can help you get some more targeted traffic from the search bar right on Instagram. But for us, Benjo's Pub, we're gonna build a brand around that name so we don't have to stress. You can add your pronouns here, and then you can also add your website. So I'll just add in Bunny Media's website. Definitely recommend having this, especially because a lot of people do wanna start with Instagram and then go investigate a little bit more. So if you have a website, definitely include it. And then a bio is very important to include here. You just wanna make sure to capture a few very relevant things. You wanna capture who you are, what you do, and basically what you do for those people, and then how they can actually buy from you or become a customer if they so choose to be that. So we're gonna say the best bar in Jack's Beach, because I'm currently in Jacksonville Beach. So we'll go with that and we'll say serving the best drinks at the best prices. So again, that's we're the best bar, <laughs> we're the best bar in Jacksonville Beach. That's who we are. What do we do? We serve the best drinks at the best prices. And then what do we want our customers or potential customers to do? So we're gonna say reserve your table now. And you can choose to use emojis in your bio or not. A lot of people do, but it's completely up to you. But I would just try to capture the few core points of what you do, what value you provide to your customers, who those customers are, and then also how they can come and become a customer for you. So this is basically exactly what we're talking about. We captured who we are, what we do, and then how people can become a customer. Then click done. And then once we've done that, you can also change your profile photo if you do ever decide that you wanna change it very easily just by tapping that change profile button. We're all good with this, so we're gonna click done. And then here it's gonna ask you to do a few other things, but I wanna walk through what the page now looks like. So when we come back to our profile, you can see underneath Benjo's Pub, which is our name, you can also see the classification of bar. So that's now attached, which makes it very easy when people do come and see us, the fact that they can see that we are in fact a bar, and then our bio is now displayed as well as our website too. So within here, you can also add how people can contact you too. So public business information, if you did wanna come in and add more things, you can come in here and add these here and then also add an action button too. So you can really make this match your desired call to action and how you want them to come in contact with you. And there's also integration with other apps too. If you do use those and you are a service-based business, you can integrate it right within the app and make that the button to actually come in and book with you. So there's a ton of freedom, ton of flexibility to give every bit of information that you need to provide to allow people to actually come and buy from you. So this is the profile at a glance. We are now a business profile and we have our account optimized for success so people can find us with our name as well as a great written description or our bio to help tell people exactly who we are and why they should come see us and how they can actually go do that. And so I'll show you the name piece right here. So if we include say a search friendly keyword, we'll say Jack's Beach Bar, okay? So why include that? So now Benjo's Pub, if anybody searches that in, they're gonna find us. Plus, if anybody types in Jack's Beach Bar, it increases the likelihood that they find us versus our competitors. So just try to think of something that 
people might be typing into the search bar on Instagram when they're looking to make a purchase from a business like yours. So I'm sure some keyword phrases come to mind, but for us, obviously being a hypothetical bar in Jack's Beach, we know that Jack's Beach bar would be things that people would be looking for. And anybody who's looking for that, we want them to find us versus our competitors. So now our account is pretty well optimized for success. Obviously to start growing it, you'd want to be posting some content. And this is actually the first video in a series of videos for Instagram for business success. So be sure to subscribe for the next one, which comes out in about a week or two, where we're gonna walk through how to actually grow this account and get people finding it on a far more consistent basis through content and other strategies to best leverage Instagram and the opportunity is for business. But within this account, another huge reason why you wanna go with a business account or a creator account is the opportunity to look at your insights. So within here, you can click insights and within here, obviously you're gonna get a ton of information, but for this page specifically, we haven't posted anything. So you're not gonna get any insights. So I'm gonna go over to my personal Instagram account and walk through an example of what this would look like and why it's beneficial for you to go through and why you want this and why it's so powerful for actually growing a business page. So here's my personal Instagram account for my personal brand. And then here we're gonna walk through the insights and why they're so valuable to look at. So here we're gonna click insights and then it gives you a huge breakdown of all of your performance across all of your content as well. As you can see right here, at a glance, you can see the accounts reached, the accounts engaged, as well as total followers, as well as the percentage change over the previous seven day period. And you can also change how these numbers are shown to you by tapping this and you can change the different sets of where this data is being provided to you from and what it's really telling you. So this is very valuable to go through and actually see what kind of content is performing and then also more specifically what is that leading to in terms of impressions for you and also in terms of business for you as well so you can also look even more specifically so if I come to a specific post which you can go through either through insights or just come to the physical post itself and if you tap that and then click view insights it's gonna give you a ton more information specific to that exact piece of content so right here you can see that it was liked by 119 people it's got 22 comments two shares eight saves and then the breakdown of accounts reached versus content interactions, profile activity, et cetera, and then also general reach. So this breaks it down into followers versus non-followers. And this is obviously huge because we wanna know how many new people are seeing our account and also what it means in terms of what they're doing for our profile and how they're actually converting into a business. So we can come in here and say a hypothetical example is say if we wanted to drive people to our website, to do that, we need to drive profile visitors. So you could actually sample different kinds of posts and then look at the specific posts and see how many profile visits that converted into. Okay. You can also see how many people followed you, et cetera. So you can really see what kind of content is converting the best for your desired action and then learn from that to post more of the similar kinds of content. So definitely continue to experiment, but using these tools that insights provides to you within Instagram, within an Instagram business or creator account, gives you a ton more information to make better decisions to grow far faster, which we'll elaborate more in part two of this series, all about growth. But you can go through here and also see breakdowns of all different kinds of your content. So go back into insights here. So you can see that over a longer period of time, you can also see your story insights over the last seven days, how many people saw it. You can see your reels insights. They break it down pretty easily here so that you can really get a good idea of the different kinds of content and how they're performing as well as videos, all these different things, as well as your lives and in prom any promotions that you'd have as well. So it gives you a ton of tools at a glance here. This is definitely a top level view. Uh, if you want more strategic breakdown, definitely catch the next video because we'll break down some more growth based strategies, but that is insights at a glance and why you want it. And one of the huge benefits of creating a business or a creator account, because without that, if it's just a personal account, you don't get that information at your disposal. So it makes it a lot harder to make better decisions to grow. And one more thing I want to show you here specifically is the promotions or the ads tools here. So you can also click ads tools and you can create a promotion and you can boost that post or run a specific paid promotion specific to the piece of content that you're sharing out there or a completely new piece of content that is just a, a promo. So to do that most effectively, you're gonna to wanna to connect that to your Facebook business page and then also create a Facebook ads manager account to really get sophisticated with it. But just from being within Instagram, you can run some promotions and then you can track all the information within the app as well. So you'll see ads tools and you can manage promotions, create promotions, etc., And you can get far more sophisticated with it within Facebook ads manager, but you can get a lot done within the Instagram app as well. And that's another feature that you only get access to as a business or a creator account. Another reason why you wanna make the switch. So that is a walkthrough of how to create an Instagram account, convert it to a business account, how to optimize it for success so it actually gets presented in the way that you want, how to put the right contact options for your specific business, and then also why you wanna be doing this for these additional insights and extra features that you get access to as a business or a creator account. So this is the first step in the process. Like I said, this is the first video in a series of how to best leverage Instagram 
for your business. So future videos are coming out very, very soon. That will help you grow and monetize off of the account. But this is a step-by-step -step tutorial to get the account up and running and optimized to give yourself the best opportunity to grow. So if any of this was confusing, rewatch this and go through the steps with us and you can get your account up and running and then be sure to check in for the next videos as we walk through strategies for growing the account and then monetizing off of it because obviously that is the primary goal with an Instagram business account. But at this point, your account is up, running and you are now basically have your digital storefront so that people can find you on Instagram and so you can start making some money to the platform. So don't forget to subscribe to Bunny Media's YouTube channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss the future videos in this Instagram for business series. And while you're at it, go ahead and let us know what your business is and your Instagram handle down below so that you may get some potential customers even from over here or some followers for your page if they're interested. And if you're looking for some more help when it comes to social media marketing for your business, check out this video I just linked in the card above right now where we walk through all the best platforms to be using and then why you wanna be using them or why maybe you don't. So go ahead and check out that video. I'll see you over there.